Welcome back. You're watching FBC Sports. Wrestling the Fair Brother Cup away from Nandrunga would have been easier if the game wasn't in Lawanga Park. But Shelvin Chan says with the Fiji Rugby Union forfeiting gate takings, the game is back on in Singatoka. We're waiting for it at the back is the Nyambula. The second Fair Brother challenge is on and unlike the situation Nandrunga Rugby Union was in, they will host the remainder of the games at Lawanga Park. Of course, the uh, game will be at Lawanga and uh, we'll be able to accommodate uh, the, the, the needs of our, of our fans who are unable to, uh, to take the trip down to Nindi. Northland provides the second challenge and according to Nanronga, they will be stronger than Tailevu. Uh, Northland will be, um, will be a tougher team than Tailevu. Uh, with an extra week we've been given, I'm, I'm sure they, um, they are going to be a stronger, stronger team that, uh, that uh, we were expecting to play last week. So, uh, preparation. Uh, has also been lifted. FRU postponed the second challenge meant for last weekend. This meant extra rest for the overworked Nandronga players. As Nandronga, we, we, have, we have even lifted our preparation uh, level up, uh, knowing that Northland will be tougher than what we were expecting last week. So, uh, yes, of course, it's going to be a very, a very exciting game. Nonranga hopes to play all the Fair Brother Cup matches at Lawanga Park. They want to retain the Fair Brother Cup after the playing six games. Only time will tell if this can happen. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. The Fijian government will recognize Elias Andelana's gold medal win at the 2012 Paralympic Games in London with an official celebration planned at Albert Park on Thursday. Delana, Fiji's lone participant to the Games, won gold in the high jump F42 category with a jump of 1.74 meters, becoming the first athlete in Fiji and the Pacific to win a gold medal in the Paralympics. The government is currently finalizing the details of a parade on Thursday from the Suva flea market to the celebration at Albert Park. Meanwhile, Fiji's gold medal at the Paralympics is, is an inspiration to athletes and has even challenged Fiji's own superwoman. She's aiming for victory at the World Masters Powerlifting Championships in Texas. Akusita Tali has more. All this gold and powerlifter Saini Militana is living proof of this. And now the 58-year-old is off to the World Masters Championships in Texas at the end of the month. This one here, the World Masters, I, I've been working hard from the past year, last year. So I want to make it really good. Last time I went in 2008, I grabbed three silver, one bronze. This time, nothing is, it's, you know, everything is, is, you can do it. This, she credits it to hard work and sacrifice and plans to put Fiji on the map after the recent achievement by Elias and Delana. No, nobody else can do that, especially in the Olympics game like that. We, I'm proud of him, the Fiji flag. You know, going high. She turns 59 in two weeks and is lifting 450 kg in total lift. So what keeps this woman on the move? If you want to achieve something for your, your country, all you have to do is to leave everything. Don't drink and don't smoke and sleep well. Fiji will be fielding a strong three-member team for the Texas meet, which includes Eric Chochi and Eliasa Irava. Who knows? Maybe minor sports will put Fiji on the map after all. Akusita Tale, FBC Sports. Bay and Suva are locked in a battle for the Fiji Sun GP Batteries National Football League title. The men in black is on top with 39 points, while Suva is three points behind. Both teams have played 16 games, but the Whites have a protest pending against Sabu Sabu. Meanwhile, the third match between Raki Raki and Tai Levu Naita Siri in the VT Levu Premier Playoffs will be played on Sunday at Govin Park in Bar. The Paralympic Games have just wrapped up in London and they've been dubbed the most successful Paralympics of all time. Several records were broken and not just in the sports arena. The end of the Paralympics means the memorable summer of sport in London reaches its conclusion. The message from organisers is that the positive changes the Games have inspired must continue. We can't suddenly enter the wilderness years between London and Rio and think that we're going to sort of grab all that territory back in, in six weeks. Those in Britain who question the wisdom of paying to host the Olympics and Paralympics have had their caution not so much eroded as swept away in a blaze of gold medals and goodwill. 
The marathon events on the final day again brought tens of thousands onto the streets of London, keen to cheer on the athletes and be part of the special atmosphere. I think it's been absolutely great um, for London and for disabled people in general. When people are disabled, sometimes they think that that's it, life's finished. But, you know, seeing what's going on and seeing how people are competing and doing well in, in different kinds of sports uh, gives them their enthusiasm to go forward and, you know, continue with their life. You know, I actually watched the, um, the main Olympics and went to some of the events, but I think the Paralympics is, for me, is sort of overshadowed that. These Paralympics have been the biggest and most successful in their 64-year history. A major reason has been the way the British public has embraced the Games, with all two and a half million tickets sold out. An indication of the breakthrough Paralympic sport has made came not in the 400-metre victory of star athlete Oscar Pistorius, but in his defeat in the 200 metres a week earlier. The South Africans' uncharacteristically bad reaction to Alan Oliveira's gold was headline news. The massive interest in two talented rivals falling out underlined the appetite for serious competition. The International Paralympic Committee say they're convinced the interest in Paralympic sports won't die with the closing ceremony. They know the changes in perception of disabled sport and disabled people needs to last long beyond this golden summer. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, London. That was your sports news for tonight.